If you want to start building apps from scratch, I just found the perfect vibe coding app to help you do that. Hi everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and today let's have a look at lovable.dev. Lovable is an incredible free AI tool that can help you build any app in seconds. Today in this video, we'll make a habit tracker from scratch and I will not write a single line of code. It will just be me talking to it in English and you will see the entire app made in seconds. I'll show you all the steps for how to build the UI, how to make it functional, how to add user authentication how to do all of that just by using lovable without writing a single line of code let's jump right into this video hit the like button and this is what lovable.dev looks like you can simply create your free account and this is what you would see this is their latest version lovable 2.0 we'll come to that in some time but basically you can enter the prompt for the app that you want to build now this is the most important step of this entire video None of it matters if you do not write this properly. You can either give Lovable a prompt or you can attach a picture of what you want the web page to look like. You also have some examples right here like expense tracker, PDF viewer, task manager, confetti animation just to show you what all you can create. Now, I went on to chat GPT and asked it to give me the prompt for my habit tracker just to give you an example of the first prompt and what it should look like. So I said app idea is habitual curator, personalized micro habit discovery and tracking. It's an AI driven app that helps users discover, customize and track unique micro habits based on their personality, goals and daily context. Then I said for the above app, generate the first prompt for Lovable to make it. Be detailed. Tell it what sections you want, what copy to include, what you want on each page, what the functionality should be and what should happen when the user interacts with the elements. This by far is the most important step of this entire video. You want to make sure that the first prompt gives all the context that Lovable needs to create the exact website that you are looking for. What should be the text like? What should be the colors like? Where do you want the buttons to be? What do you want the buttons to say? Everything you can ask ChatGPT to, to generate right here. So I asked ChatGPT and it gave me this prompt for Lovable. And this is the prompt it gave. Design a mobile app UI UX for habitual curator, an AI powered micro habit discovery platform and it gave the exact details for every single page. The first one was the onboarding flow, three to four screens. And it says, welcome screen. This is what the text should be. This is what the subtext should be. This is what the button should say. Personality quiz. Then it goes down, goal setup. Then it goes down, home and dashboard. Every single page has been written here in as much depth as possible. What should be the header be like? You go down, you see carousals, you see mini street tracker, you see floating action button, you go down, there is the explore page button, there is an example card right here, there is a habit detail page right here, there is a progress and streaks page right here. All of this is a part of the first prompt that you will give to Lovable so that it can create an amazing website for you with the exact details that you want it to have. And at the end, we will also attach the micro interactions. What animations do you want in your app? And then the tone and copy guidelines right? What do you want it to sound like? You can write over here. Functionality summary. So this is basically the entire prompt. I will then just copy this prompt right here and I will drop it into Lovable like so. Again, I am not doing anything myself. I don't even know what most of these things mean. If you are a beginner, you don't have to worry about anything. You can simply just ask Lovable to create this entire website from scratch. Now, this is what the interface looks like. On the left, you have the chat window. On the right, you have the preview window. Essentially, you can chat with the coding agent of Lovable, which is actually writing the code and creating the website right here, which you can see in the preview section. It says spinning up preview and you have a lot of options right here, right? So it's creating the app for us. It's writing all the code that you can see right here. It is understanding what you want it to create and it is going to take some time. Now you can see you have multiple options. You can also attach it with a GitHub repository. You can access the history. You can access knowledge. You can even connect it with a super base and get access to all the database. If you want to do some user authentication, you can use super base for that. You can also edit anything. I'll show you how this works, but you can also attach a page, a picture, and you can ask it to make any changes if you want to. There's also a chat 
function in which you can ask any questions with the lovable AI and ask it without making any changes to the actual website. So that's what it looks like. It's going to take some time and I'm going to come back in three, two and one. Okay, the first thing you will see is going to be an error, but do not worry about it because the best thing you can do is to simply ask lovable to fix this error. So you can basically just say, try to fix. And it's going to try fixing the error right here. It's going to find out some errors and it's going to fix those errors in real time right in front of you. And there you go. This is what our app looks like. Welcome to Habitual Curator. Your daily dose of micro habit magic starts here. Let's discover tiny habits for a big impact. Again, this is the exact copy that we entered and we can click on let's go to move ahead. A little about you. So I am a morning bird. Let's curate. And here you go. I have some exercises. I have some habits for me that I can now install. So which is mindful morning sip, one leg toothbrush, and I can move on and I can also explore other habits if I want to. So this is basically how it works. This entire app was made in less than five minutes by Lovable and that is what truly blows my mind. Now you can add user authentication. You can click on mark as done. This is responsive. You can even publish this app right here. I'll click on publish. I can also attach a custom domain if I want to. I can attach a Stripe, you know, check out if I want to. I can now sell it as a SaaS to companies. I can make money from it. And that is the best part about it. And there you go. This app is running out there. I'll put the link of it in the description of this video so that you can go and check this out. Truly mind blowing stuff. Lovable is honestly insane. But let's say you want to make some changes, right? So let's just go on to explore. Um, let me restart this app. So let's actually go to the first page itself and let's say I want to fix something. There's also an amazing feature called the edit button with which I can change any part of the website by just clicking on it. So let's say I want to change this button I can click on this and I can change the padding of it. I can change the margin. I can even go advanced and I can change this entire name. So if you know Tailwind, you can just go in and you can change the name of it and it will completely change the look of the button right here. Enter custom Tailwind classes. That's basically how it works. You can even, you know, select a parent and you can change anything about it if you want to. This is stuff that developers would know. If you are a developer, you would happily know about this. But let's say I want to like chat with the AI to get to learn more about it. So I can click on chat and I can ask it um, uh, what should be the next feature and it's going to reply to me without making any changes to the app itself so that's how lovable works there's also another mode which is called as it's going to reply to you it's going to show you what is working what needs attention explore pages just a placeholder quiz data isn't being saved or used no habit detail pages so we can add all of these pages one by one if you want to. And you can also, you know, start working on the plan. So let's try to implement this plan. So if you do that, it's going to exit from the chat mode and start working on the plan right here that it suggested in front of you. So it's going to change some stuff. Some things might break. It might give you errors, but you can just ask it to fix the errors, find the errors itself and fix it. And it works really well at that. There's also another mode called as the dev mode. Right. So I'll show you that and how it works. So this right here is a dev mode in which you can go into any of the files over here and you can change any of the code if you want to write from the dev mode itself. Now, if you are not a developer, you do not have to worry. You will never have to go to this page particularly. You can come back to the chat mode and the preview mode right here and you can just chat with Lovable to see all the changes in real time. There's also a collaboration feature in 2.0 Lovable, which enables you to add more people so that you can collaborate on the same project and make it even better. That's great. You can also connect this with a Superbase account. So I can connect it with my Superbase account. And with that, I would basically get access to user authentication, saving any information about users and things of that sort. So I already have my account listed right here. I can create a simple project like so and let's just create a new project and once you do that you can now access this project and you can save anything like authentication so explore auth and you can basically start adding users send an invitation create a new user and then 
this information will be available in your app itself. So project and we can then connect it with any of the projects right here. And now it should be working. You can add a login with Google account if you want to do that. But this is working just fine. So let's see what's new. We can click on this morning bird. Gives me options. I can go on to explore. It gives me more stuff. So I can save to my mix. It's saved. We can go on to here. And now we can mark as done. We can like it if you want to. We can redo it. And this is what our app looks like right now. Now again, you can invite people. You can watch this website. You can go on and change the orientation of it. And I can just ask it, add user authentication with Google sign on. And it's going to start adding that into the app itself so that people can sign in with Google and then they can view their account like there. And the details would be saved in our Superbase account that we've just connected it with. And that is basically how you create a full-fledged app Right? You can even add other things into it and you can make it a complete app that you can launch for people. And this is the easiest way for you to build and launch apps in minutes using Lovable 2.0 with its chat feature, edit feature, dev mode, its 10x better chat feature. You can also just go on to Lovable, scroll down and you can look at the community and what they are making. Right, So here people are creating some amazing stuff that you can view you can open the site, you can see what prompts they used, you can also go to recent and you can start looking at the things that people are creating. So this is basically how it works. This is honestly a very powerful platform that you can use to build pretty much anything that you would want to. Try it out yourself, hit the like button and subscribe. It's completely free to get started. I have purchased the paid plan now because I'm doing a lot more stuff with it. We literally just built the entire UI of our website that we are going to launch very soon on Lovable itself and it's very powerful at that. Go try it out today, hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Let me know if you have any questions as well about this in the comment section. I'll see you in the next one.